Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iPad today is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Coming up on iPad today, new iPad unboxing. I've got white, she's got black, we're rocking LTE and we're not looking back. One word wow, iPad today starts right now. iPad Today is brought to you by Go to My PC. Go to My PC apps are the missing link for remote access to turn your iPad and iPhone into your office computer. Visit GoToMyPC.com for your free 30 day trial. Use the offer code iPad. And by Ford, featuring curve control to help protect against crashes on curves. Look for curve control available in the 2013 Ford Taurus and learn more at Ford.com slash cars slash Taurus. And by Audible.com. To download the free audiobook of your choice, visit audiblepodcast.com slash iPad today. It's Padmas. It's iPadmas. Happy iPadmas. Happy iPadmas, everybody. Happy iPadmas, everyone. <laughs> Sarah Lane is here, and she has a, a confession to make. What is it? <laughs> I didn't buy this? You've had an iPad for a week, and you kept <gasps> oh, it a secret from us. Here's why. Okay. It wasn't yours to talk about. It wasn't mine. I live with somebody who had an iPad review unit for the last week. Some ever of the, some since, of the big the names. Some yeah, of the big names, David said. Pogue and Walt Mossberg. No, she doesn't live with either one of them. No. No. Uh, Get uh, got an iPad on the day of the uh, of the it was it was last Wednesday speech. It they was handed an iPad out. announcement day and uh, some people didn't but some did and those people got their reviews and I think their reviews came out Wednesday right yeah they were under embargo until right. Wednesday at, I right. think six p.m. Pacific so so you was, have we, how much time were you able to get with it though I mean he was he had a writer's review yeah I mean we went to South by Southwest with it and <laughs> kept it in the hotel I hate room. you you here's, here's, you are a sly cove you kept a good secret here's the thing is that you can't keep secrets. I know. That's why they don't give so me anything. So I couldn't tell you. No, 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 no. I would have said something. I wanted something. to tell you. No, no, no. I wouldn't know. Oh, how I wanted to tell you. But I, I couldn't because no. I, I know how you just say oh, yeah. stuff. I have, I blab. So, so I'm glad you didn't tell me. That's what happened. And I was, I'm impressed at your ability to just go. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I'm saying things last week. Because you already had it last week. Yeah. I'm saying things last week. And you're going. Well, I'm sure it's going to be good. <laughs> you. That was already like the random display is the best thing in the world. Yeah, you oh. wanted to say that, didn't you? <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So Sarah did something <laughs> nice, though, because uh, we, we all got our iPads today. Some, some of us, uh, Jammer B and uh, who else went to the store? Chad, our producer, the old redhead, went to the store and got theirs at the Apple Store at 8 this morning. And they got the line. Was it a big line, Chad? Was it a? Was no, it, a... it was. There was about 60 to oh, was 80 line. people. No, that's a lot Somewhere of people. That's in, in Santa Rosa. Right in yeah. Santa Rosa, this was not a big. I mean, this is a normal Apple. It's store. It's one of the little mall stores. It's not right. like the the Fifth Avenue store, or the San Francisco right. store. Right. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, did they sell out, Chad, or do you know? I, I don't know, but they have they had enough that I don't think that they were going to sell out. Yeah. They didn't seem worried. Um, in the by the slightest. way, if you're wondering where's Waldo, we found him. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Waldo. <laughs> Uh, right out. So, so, so they they hard. had one, and then around uh, I think around eleven uh, this morning, the uh, FedEx truck pulled up, and we got about six or seven or something. I mm -hmm. mean, uh, everybody in the office, even Frederic, who's never had an iPad before, oh, Frederic, got you're one. Love She's it. really happy. New world. Well, but, we, we decided to shoot the show at four p.m. On Friday, on Friday, the 16th, because we didn't know when the shipping right. was going to come. So I've been installing, and I have some thoughts about that. But you, you, I'm, I'm impressed. You, you held off. You still have your old iPad. Your iPad 2 has out. I do, yeah. But this so, is your new one. So I'm going, I, I, I've got my white one set up the way that it's always set up on yeah. the show. But I, and I knew that you wouldn't be able to wait. Oh, because, no, I unboxed it. Come on. Tom Merritt did you. an unboxing on camera, though. T Tom Merritt yeah. did an unboxing, but I actually haven't opened mine until <sighs> right Okay, okay, okay. we got to get a close-up of this, though. Second. All right. So that first of all, ooh, the plastic's still on it. Walter Isaacson in his biography of Steve Jobs talks a lot about how Steve and Johnny oh, Ive just... really thought the packaging was important. That's the first experience, and so they made it perfectly. F <laughs> they made it fit perfectly, and it does. When you pull open the lid, it's almost like a vacuum because it's such a perfect fit. 
There's I your charger. Yeah, that's yeah. the same as okay, always. I don't have enough of those. All yeah. of that's the same. Everything's the same. In fact, this experience is exactly like the this iPad is our third This is our third time at the dance. Yeah. But... Now, which you got the black one. Last year, you had the bl- white one, and we, f- we flip-flopped. Oh, I'm, I'm now so white, pretty. and you're black. So pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. That's not on yet. Uh, yeah, so I decided to go back to black, Really, not because I don't like the white iPad. In fact, I almost prefer it, especially when I'm looking at something with white t- uh, white background, which is a lot of websites. It just right. seems to flow a little bit better. But I thought <laughs> I need something to differentiate so it's coming the two on. It's coming to make on it seem new. Because I haven't had a black iPad for, well, a year now. As is in the past, the battery is mostly charged. Mine was 86%. Oh, really? So you don't have, you can, which is nice of Apple because it means you can kind of start playing with it right away. Now, you're going to have a choice of starting with a fresh iPad. That's right. Go ahead, show that, because I think that's new. I don't think we've ever seen that. I've never seen just Just that. regular old iPad. And then as you walk through it, they're going to ask you some questions right away. And I think this is a new privacy policy thing. For instance, here's the, the, the language. Yeah. yeah, we'll go with English. Yep, yep. I think that's a good choice. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. United States. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, this is interesting. Do you want to enable location services? Absolutely. And I think that that is important because Apple's saying, you know, we're going to track some information about you location-wise. Yeah. Do you agree to this? And they, it's the third screen you see. It's a big deal, big screen. You have to explicitly say so. And do you think... Uh, well, it makes more sense to do that right off the bat because then you don't get. Well, the, I suspect they'll still do it per app basis, you think but they, so. but you, but if you're going to be turned on, they want to let you know. This is where you mm-hmm. sign up for your Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah. And I'll let you, I'll, if you want us to go ahead and do that, I'll let you do that. Um, and while you're talking, I'll talk about a few things. So the first thing I wanted to know is: Is it going to fit in my case? As you know, I have this really cool kind of Moleskine style uh, case from Exhibit. Uh, you got one too, and it's even got. They they sent it to us. It has the twit. It was awesome. Monogram. Yeah, I didn't even notice that at first. That's so cool. And I uh, actually like it so much that I ordered some. They have an iPhone one as well, and I gave that to Jennifer, and I gave her this case, and it and uh, she had an iPad one, so she's going to be very happy because the iPad three does work in this case. A couple of things we're concerned about, as you know, the iPad. The new iPad. Should we call it the iPad 3 just for this show? No, you can't. Right. And the I new, don't think anyone else should either. The new iPad is a little thicker. We found that out. We have a custom-made stand that I use that I cannot use anymore because it's just one millimeter thicker. is too thick for that. It's made with some tolerant, pretty good tolerances. This, however, it fits just fine. The other thing I was concerned about is the camera port because they said they'd moved it slightly. No, it's still smack dab where it ought to be. And I don't see any edges on the case. So if you have, a, certainly if you have a smart case, the old smart cases work fine. just fine. Yeah. I bet you the ones Apple's selling are exactly the same. I don't think they've re-engineered they them. They haven't. Magnets in yeah. the same place. Everything's the same. And many, I would say many iPad 2 cases will work just fine. So it is noticeably heavier. Do you feel like it's a little bit heavier? So Is that just psychological? I think if you know it's heavier, it... It's if you if you it have feels a little iPad heavier. two and iPad three, it does feel it is. Yeah. It's not that much it's, heavier. It's like point oh and two quite honestly, pounds heavier. I it, it's a lot more like the iPad two than the original iPad as far right. as thickness goes. Right. So I don't there has been a knock by a few people who've written their reviews saying it's not like Apple to go backwards. I mean you had it to a certain mm. thinness and to go back a little bit is counter you know, kind of the Apple mantra, but they managed to basically double the battery. I mean, the battery is... It's is 45 watt hours compared to 25 in the original iPad right. 2. That is a significant, without being much bigger, that's where the extra weight and thickness comes from, is a bigger battery. And I think, in my opinion, f- Apple, make it heavier and thicker if you give us that much more battery life. Now, of course, LTE is going to suck battery life. So if you're using the new LTE uh, from Verizon or AT&T, you, Apple's saying you'll get the same battery life. What they didn't talk about is if you don't use it, will you get better battery life? And I suspect the, uh, the Wi-Fi iPad will, in fact, uh, get better battery life. It's a bigger battery. Why sure, you? yeah, because it's, uh, it's supposed to be uh, handling the LTE and the Retina. Go ahead. It's the Retina display, right? This is, this is, what, this is why we bought it. Totally. It's amazing. It's really beautiful. I mean, that is, you know what, 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 and I said this on TNT too, is what got me is I have never had a problem with the iPad to display. I've never thought, oh, no, it's if, a gorgeous if display. only we had a retina display, I've always been happy with yeah. it. Movies look nice, everything. But once you go to a new iPad and you get used to it visually and you go back to the iPad 2, it looks like junk. And I, I, I mean, it it's not even that hard. It's just, it's going from HD to SD. Yeah. That's 
that's the way that you know, that's yeah. the comparison that I've been making. It's this is something that's happened if you think about it in every year in computer history. You know, our original. I'm old enough to remember the original screens that were 80 by 24 characters, and uh, you couldn't do graphics. They were very chunky. I was just playing. Remember, we got that Atari joystick. It's an Atari 2600 on the screen. Really blocky graphics. Yeah. I remember the days when you had 16 colors, then 256 colors, then 16,000 colors, then 4 billion colors. We have made this progress all along in the technology industry, and I think this is another step in it, but I think it is going to set an expectation. My initial reaction is, well, it's not like, whoa, you know, not a Jessica Rabbit, whoa, with your eyeballs popping out. But I think it is subtly much, much better. And mm -hmm. over time, I think you'll grow more and more comfortable. The text, the images, you know where it really shines is when you're shooting a movie or taking a picture. It just looks great. In fact, I, I, I've been walking around, I know, with my odd setup like this, <laughs> shooting, <laughs> shooting videos. No, there's and nothing weird about that. No, I think this looks completely yeah. normal. No, it does. The reason I do this is this case, if I flip this over, it covers the camera. But, you know, as it turns out, I kind of like this because it blocks out the uh, sun. And so it's almost like one of those hoods the old-timey photographers would wear. You, When I'm shooting video, the quality I'm seeing on this is incredible. And the video, the recording is amazing. This is this camera and 1080p uh, full frame rate video on this is is bigger than I think people realize. It's a gorgeous camera. Stills are also just incredible. Now I plan to be walking around. You know, I think you're just going to see people like this doing this, and it's just going to be you know commonplace. This is this is you're <laughs> well, going to get used to this. For better for worse, I think yeah, you're going to see a lot of more people holding up their iPads because we're supposed to. We're I mean being told to do this, and I also think <laughs> that the way that this differs from the iPhone, where it's like oh, you could be you could have taken 1080p video on the iPhone right uh, before now is that you don't have the same tools on the iPhone that are as much fun exactly. to edit. So you can exactly. take video natively, and then you can bring it into uh, a variety of programs, whether it's Final Cut or iMovie look, or Photoshop. Look at this. This is, a, this is an example. The, the, I'm, the camera on my screen is now taking a picture of the chat room. I can read the chat room in the camera very clearly. It's beautiful. And so having that much resolution on the screen, it, it's, it's hard to describe. But I, I do really think that uh, while initially your initial reaction may not be, whoa, when you, when you open. Now, Flipboard, I don't have the, the latest download of Flipboard. Let's talk a little bit about uh, step one. Um, you, if you already have an iPad, and I, I imagine many of you who are buying iPads, uh, the new iPads have one. Um, here's my recommendation, because we've, we've gone through this now uh, a couple of times. There are a couple of ways that you can populate the new iPad with the old iPads, apps, music, and, and all of that. My suggestion, I think the best way to do this, uh, would be to take the old iPad and one last time, hook it up to your computer, to iTunes, mm -hmm. and back do the backup. The first time you, you know, when you sync the first time every day, it does yeah. a full backup. Do that full backup. When you get the new iPad... Instead of using iCloud, which is what I did, I would suggest, and I would suggest this to you, you take it home and, ba and restore it from that backup. So take your old iPad, back it up, then restore the new iPad from that backup. It will be much faster. So I did the iCloud backup. It took a couple of hours. Now, one advantage is all of my folders, everything has been preserved. All the settings were preserved, the desktop, everything. I mean, this is the old iPad come back to life. However, um, and you'll notice this, all of the apps have to be re-downloaded. And this is taking a lot longer. So the first two hours just kind of get you back where you've got all the apps. And then it's as if you're updating each app. Now, the chat room has told me an a, a very handy tool. You can double tap the apps that you're waiting for. See all of these waiting? Mm -hmm. I can't use any of these until it's done waiting. You could say, well, if you say, wait a minute. No, I really, I really want uh, this IMDB app. You can double tap it. And it will start installing it immediately. So you can it jumps go through, to the front of the queue. It jumps to the front of the queue. You can go through and speed this up a little bit with some of the uh, some of the apps. See, these are all loading right now. Um, it's going to take probably overnight. That's because I'm doing it from the iCloud. So yes, you can do an iCloud restore, which, but is, my, which is cool, but it's not going to be the fastest. Well, way to it's do also it. great for somebody who doesn't have a computer. 
Or that. Yeah. yeah if you're nowhere near anything. Yeah. So yeah you, I'm not even, I can't even really get going on this guy because right. I need to restore and I'm not in the position to do that just yet. I'm well, sorry, a little new idea. Yeah. Well, it's a little frustrating. It, 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 you get it and it's got 86% battery. What is the battery on that? Just out of curiosity. It is 87%. Yeah. So that's Very nice of close. Apple. They, they ship it to you fairly charged. Um, but uh, you can't really use it. So your first thing you're going to do is plug it in and restore. Hey, this is not going to come as a surprise to anybody who's had one, both colors. But I will say, after not having the black for a while, because you often, or I often, hold my iPad on the edges, on the white, you don't see all of the you just smudges. See fingerprints right this away, is a right? smudge machine. Yeah. Why did I do this? Are you really? You haven't already? You haven't black regrets, huh? <sighs> I don't know. I just it's going to take some getting used to. It's funny because really when you like first the got the iPad. white, you had a little bit of a It's true. You know, I think also I also have the white iPhone now, so maybe it's just the what yeah. I'm used to. It'll be a fi it'll be fine. I have I have a new iPad. I have nothing to uh, complain about. But I'll the, do my best anyway. The other excellent news is that all many all of Apple's apps are now retina ready. The, yes, Apple the that they created yeah. not everything in the App Store. All, all, the, all the ones out. they wrote are Retina ready, and uh, iPhoto, for instance, just knocks your socks off. Um, in fact, this is the best way to see some of the images uh, that you've taken. By the way, notice how much I feel like it's much faster. I do feel like oh, this is the first time I've opened it. So I, I've been taking pictures of you as oh, we've awesome. been, as we've been going. I they're really pretty. Well, they are. They're fantastic. Yeah. Ooh, look, lost in thought. Oh, hey. Here's the who video am I? I shot. <laughs> I mean, this, I, I can't tell you, you probably can't at home, you can't really tell, but it looks fantastic. It really does. It's very fast as I swipe through it. There's our, there's our fans from a Novato who are visiting just behind us. Hey, fans. <laughs> They're so happy. You saw how quickly I took those pictures, too. I mean, yeah. it moves very fast. The focus is very quick. Look at that. It's a great shot of you. Um, it's even an action shot. See, you're, you're, you're tap, 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 Oh, tapping. I was tap, tap, tapping. Yeah. Um, I just, I really think that, Look at the detail that we're getting in these images is stunning. I, I got to say, uh, I am so excited. This is iPhoto, Retina ready. All of the Apple written apps are, are, are Retina. And I was amazed at how many apps are updating today. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think it's not so hard to get Retina ready. Now, let me show you an app that's not Retinized. Uh, Flipboard I, it is Retinized, but this is the old Flipboard Still looks great. You don't see, and I was a little worried you might see that 2X button that you mm -hmm. saw with iPhone apps. This looks fine, all right? It's com and because the text is going to take advantage of the retina, and if these images are full quality, they're going to take advantage. F now, Flipboard has ship has is pushing a an update, which I haven't gotten yet. But this is without the update. So I think if you were worried that maybe older uh, apps would not uh, scale well. Oh, they scale great. We actually got it on that subject. We got an email from Ron who said, iPad 1 and 2 ran iPhone apps in that 2X mode. Right. The new Retina display will render them unusable in 2X mode because ah. some apps have new iPad versions. What happens to our iPhone apps on iPad 3, which he's calling it? That's I don't a think, great I question. I don't think that's true, actually. I think they'll actually look better because... I'm uh, uh, you know, if you imagine let me, let me a Retina path. display app for the iPhone... Let me load Path. I okay. just double-tapped Path. Path is not an iPad app, so, of course, it's designed for the iPhone. It's not Retina, uh, iPad Retina ready. Mm, right. Um, let's, as, as soon as it loads, we'll take a look at it. Now, it looked good before because it's text and pictures. They're right. using full-quality pictures. It should look fine, but I'm curious about that 2X scaling. What yeah. is that going to look I like? I think the 2X scaling should look the same or actually better because... Right. It's a blown up version of that really nice. It, as long the iPhone had, in a smaller shrinky dink size, better resolution right. than the iPad too. Good point. So they're more. They're, if it's iPhone, they're better retina, siblings. It now. might actually look better. You're right. Yeah. Uh, that's a very good point. Uh, actually, Path is probably a bad example because it's one of the iPhone apps that looks the best on the uh, iPad one and two. It's true. Because the images are nice and the and text. See, text will always scale because they're when it draws text, it's not drawing it. Uh, for the iPhone, it's just drawing it, and then the and the uh, the device renders. The you know text. what also uh, might be a good test is Instagram, iPhone only app um, that Here's works path. on iPad but not not Here's beautifully. Path. All right. So oh, this is one thing I'm a little annoyed. I do have to re-log into all of my apps, and I will do that. Well, um, you know what? This looks great. Than sorry, so here's right? the uh, here's the uh, iPhone. Let's see. Let's uh, keyboard. Let me let me press the two X button. Yeah. 
You know what? It looks much better. I don't see any of the jaggies mm-hmm. that I saw on the iPad 2. Yeah, it just looks... It, we, it looks good. Isn't that great? So everything is just... You have more of an incentive to download yeah. that iPhone app. Let me... Uh, and uh, not have to worry about Chad, it looking you, like junk. You'll take... Yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna just Leo doesn't in. want to share his... Uh, oh, I do, and I don't mind if everybody knows. But uh... now there have been a few gripes. I read on the Verge last night. Uh, one of the reporters uh, made mention: "Hey, the whole idea of FaceTime being Wi-Fi only up until now was that 3G couldn't support FaceTime so well. Why wouldn't FaceTime be available on LTE?" It, of course, is a carrier issue, not an iPad issue, because the two of us could easily connect. Yes. So that's going to be annoying for anyone who thinks I can do everything I want to do on LTE that I couldn't do before on 3G because it's capable. Um, that's not true because you've kind of got two companies to answer to. There's Apple and there's either Verizon or AT&T. So here's, here, here's the good news. There's Skype yeah. which uses 3G. Right. There's Tango which uses 3G. Yeah. There's Voxer. I mean there are a lot of other apps that will use the FaceTime camera that will let you do 3G video calls. So you just can't use FaceTime. Unless you're over Wi-Fi. Yeah. So, uh, or one of you has tethering and the other tethers to it. And now, then you can... But then you'd be sitting next to each other. You were getting... <laughs> uh, MG, I know, uh, was getting uh, full LTE in San Francisco yes. on his Verizon LTE iPad. What kind of bandwidth were you getting? Um, I know if you don't remember. Cause I he, don't, He no. wrote it in his article. You play, can, getting, can you quote the article? Because yeah, I don't really pay getting, attention to most of those stuff. He was getting 40 pieces. megabit downloads. Yeah, that's right. And uh, I think it was, ten, it was 10 or 20 megabit uploads. I think it was, was getting it was like 15. Mind-boggling speed. Was, better than your your basic Comcast it, internet. It was three times our Xfinity that we pay <laughs> extra for. That's annoying. <laughs> now, I don't know if it's going to stay that way because you, you, know, you were one of the few. Yeah. No, uh, but no, yeah. Wait. But there were other, there are other LTE users on other phones and so forth. I mean, you're not the only people using uh, L- no. LTE in, in San Francisco. The market but, is about to get a lot more crowded, but it's, especially yes. in urban areas. So it remains to be seen if we're going to, if we can retain the, those up and down speeds. Right. I, I, well, then you get into throttling issues. You're but still getting great, great performance. Very, that, very, that, very impressive. Now, I have the AT&T LTE version. Ah. Which... That was a strange choice. Well, because I've got unlimited AT&T. Uh, and you want to keep that going. And I can get grandfathered yeah. over. Yeah, We'll see that. how that works. AT&T says that they'll do it. That's what they've told me. I might have to ha- make some customer service phone calls. Who knows? But I also thought if you get Verizon... And it's for the testing purposes of the show. Right. Then I'll get at t and we can compare and contrast. So you know, we have one of each. I'm going to download Instagram right now. There's another example of an app that people love on the iPhone. It's mm-hmm. iPhone-only app. Yeah. Um, I generally use InstaGallery or some other program to access Instagram on the iPad because it'll give me the... But let's take a look at, it, at Instagram and see how, uh, how it looks on here. Um, I'm, I have to say, uh, this is exciting. And then we got to try the dictation. Oh, that too. Because that's another big feature, right? Sure. It's Siri Light. Siri Light. Siri Light. Less Siri, calories. Siri, turn on a light. <laughs> Less errors. Less server down. Right, here's Instagram. Oh, I'll probably have to log into this too. The good thing about Instagram, even if you don't log... Oh, no. It, it, it actually remembers my... You're in there. My You're Instagram. In there. So oh, that's the baby. Neat. Here's Poshy's baby. See, it already See, looks better. Looks, you know, we can go back to this, but blow it up. It blows it up full screen. So it's, in fact, even though it says 1x, 2x... It's really 1x, 4x, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I, and that, the thing with Instagram that looks is that... spectacular. Because it's so focused on not just pictures, but the comments underneath and people's profile pictures. It really did look kind of pixelated on the iPad. It looks better. Uh, more than better. This is spectacular. Uh, I'm just blown away here. Let's look at the popular. The other thing, of course, is on a grid like this, you see so much detail in the popular images. You, 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 don't, you know, the thumbnails are often, you know, are really, really good. Uh, I have to say this 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 looks great. This looks really great. I'm very happy. Um, I'm glad you're happy. Yeah, yeah. Happy wow. Leo's happy Sarah. Wow, look at that. Yeah, I know because when I'm in a bad mood, it just hurts. Yeah, I think that the that's detail, right. the Christmas, that's really good. Let's see, just Justine. give you a cookie. Here's just <laughs> oh cute. She's got a little fisheye lens. Yeah. She's got good iPhone lenses. Yeah. Oh, it's just seeing her family. That's the Azeric family. All right. Yeah. Well, let's stop reading your Instagram oh, feed or we'll do this all day. <laughs> we will. We should so probably. That answers the question, though. Are iPhone apps going to look like crap? No. Exactly. They're, in fact, Sarah, you're absolutely right. They're going to look better. 
Mm -hmm. And they do look better, and I mean, we, we proved that. And by the way, Apple in their app store has a nice little area of a bunch of Retina Ready, so really, really, really optimized right. graphics. That Including they Including Infinity Blade 2, they updated. Yes, they yeah, did, yeah. Uh, because Infinity Blade Dungeon isn't out until April, I, I know. think. I know. I moved, I went immediately and said, oh, oh, That'll I want be, Dungeons. Yeah, you wanted that for your app cap. But Diablo 3 is coming up, too. Um, so. so we'll have a link to that in our show notes, um, as well as an article that has a bunch of, bunch of Retina apps that are ready to go, it, which is, I mean, the list is growing all the time. This is one that MG wrote, but uh, a lot of people are jumping on this train. So you've got a lot of options. And, and some of those apps you might not have had already, but many of them are must-haves. Here's one of the apps that everybody likes to use that was not updated for Retina. That's the Facebook app, probably one of the top three or four apps on mm -hmm. the iPad. Um, and, it, and it looks fine. Um, and as you would expect, because the Facebook app is really mostly just images and text. And those are the, those are the apps that are going to look uh, the best uh, because text scales. And if the images are decent quality, they're going to scale as well. Uh, I'm, I'm actually uh, thinking this looks, looks really good. And here's, a, here's another video that I shot. Uh, on. I, this is off of Facebook. The quality, the resolution is perfect. There's our CEO, Lisa Kensel, talking about her new iPad. Actually, no, she's talking about her 49ers. Uh, but, I mean, I just think this is going to be a great tool for, for taking videos. Um, I'm, I'm really blown away here. By the way, if you hear something rumbling in the background, it's, uh, it's torrential like downpour yeah. outside yeah. here in Petaluma. I've yeah. never really heard it rain so loudly. Hopefully we can actually the roof hear will it. stay up. Yeah. We can hear it. I can hear it in my ear. That's why I figured I would I say it, something. It's the end of the world as, as we, we know, know it. it. Um, and I have to drive home. All right, let me show you a, uh, one of my, the first apps that is updated. Uh, this is Tweetbot. Looks the same. <laughs> yeah, it's just bigger. It's, it's, you got better, you got better uh, uh, image quality. You got better text quality. It's certainly more legible. Um, it was already a, a really uh, good-looking. Um, uh, I think the best apps where, uh, again, it'll really jump out at you as, wow, this display is amazing. Because when you look at text, the text does look better. But you just don't notice it because it's text. It's something like the New York Times, which is much more of a multimedia. You've got photos, you've got text, you've got bigger headlines and different fonts. Um, that's when you go, oh, wow, look at this. You know, it's funny it looks because really nice. I have, don't yet have the new New York Times app. They did an update for the Retina display. Mm -hmm. This is the old New York Times app. Looks fantastic. Yeah. I don't know what the Retina version of the New York Times app is going to, how it's going to look any different. But if you have, if you have decent image quality, in, in, in something like this, it's going to look good no matter what. I guess I can't zoom on this, but, uh, I mean, I think it just looks fine. It's very... Look, one thing that we should mention, uh, I know a lot of you are saying, well, you know, I like reading on a Kindle. This is really crisp. This mm -hmm. text is very legible. Just don't go out in the sun. You still have that problem. Is it? Yeah, we haven't tried it yet well, in the sun, but it of course doesn't, it's, it's yeah, the, the same ref IPS The reflection, yeah. that, that's not fixed. Yeah. So that's just something to keep in mind. Also... The Kindle app was not Retina display enabled, at least by the time I sat down. It is. They're just shipped. Did in. they? They've okay, just good. pushed a, So this is another thing you're going to want to do. Uh, it's a little weird. So I'm. you saw all those apps are downloading, but they're not necessarily downloading the latest versions. Then you're going to go out and update. And look, there's a new Pandora. This is for, uh, actually, that is not for Retina display, but the Motion X is, Words with Friends is, Flipboard has a Retina version, Readability, Instagram, uh, Actually, those are not Retina. And there was an updated Kindle uh, as well. That uh, uh, So you're going to want to do those updates after you get everything copied in. Right. Apparently, not everything is up to date yet. Uh, that may be because people, these, these, these companies are actually pushing out updates even as we speak. Oh, they absolutely are. Yeah. We're going to probably see twice as many by Monday right. as we do now. Um, okay, so let's... Move on. <laughs> We're like, ah, but I want to show you everything. I know you do, but I that, should probably do a the beauty is, huh? is that we have a weekly show. So what That's we true. can't get to today, we'll get to next week. And before you get to that, I just want to remind everybody, uh, anybody who's watching live, thank you so much for tuning in at kind of a weird time. We're recording this. Uh, we decided to go later in the day on Friday to accommodate our new iPad deliveries. Leo got his engraved, too. It's just kind of cool. I now I wish I had. Do you want to see what the engraving looks like? I would like to, yeah. It's smaller than I thought it would be. It's really tiny. <laughs> I actually didn't because I thought, well, it's going to be sort of big and obnoxious. No, it's very subtle. In fact, it might be too subtle to be really worth anything, but I... I did get the uh, back. Uh, uh, no, it's, can it's you even classy. See it? Yeah, I see yeah. it. Leo Laporte, chief twit. Yeah. It's very nice. I feel sorry for the 12-year-old Chinese person who did that, but, but okay.
Oh, it was a machine. You think? A 12-year-old machine. It's not some child with small small hands and, I, and a little chisel. A, a very talented one. A little yeah. tiny chisel. Very cute. Leo Laporte, Chief Twit. See, now I would say to most people, resale value will go down if it you did. engrave, it but did. not yours. I people, could autograph people that. People would love that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not going to get Google money for it, but, it, you know, it'd be a couple of bucks. <laughs> who would get... Who? <laughs> Come on. Like, we know anybody like that. <laughs> I mean, nobody we know would Speaking get Google of, money. Speaking have of, you, have you deleted Oink yet? I deleted Oink. You delete... Well, you know what's funny? I got my data off of it. Yeah, before already. I got... Before I knew that they were going out of... Yeah. Business. I, I I just got this email that said your data is ready, and I thought, why is Oink sending me a, an email that my data is ready? And then the next day, I, they they said, oh yeah, we're going out of business. Then the next day, they said, oh and by the way, we're now all working for Google. Yeah. So well, three of them are anyway. But that's another show for another. another we're this another week in Google show. Topic. Yeah, we'll talk about it on Twig. Yeah, absolutely. We're trying to get Kevin, our old friend Kevin Rose, uh, on uh, Twit, but I think he probably still can't talk about it. So I did my best yesterday. Yeah. He wouldn't budge. He said, "I can't do it." Yeah. So yeah, uh, he's... if he's not talking, he's not talking. But a reminder that we do record the show regularly at 1:30 p.m. Pacific, 4:30 p.m. Eastern on Thursdays. Next Thursday, we're going back to our regular schedule, and we'll have had almost a week with our new iPads. Uh, testing out all of our favorite apps. So, um, again, thanks, everybody, for uh, watching the special live version. Uh, but you can always catch our shows at twit.tv slash IPT. That's where everything lives. Show 88, that was a good one. That's when we had just found out about the iPad. You can relive that show the and new iPad is all here. the things that we thought were going to happen, even though I already knew. I just wasn't you telling Leo. You are so sneaky. And I was such a sneaky stir. Yeah. So, yeah. So, and that's where we have all the links to not only apps that we talk about, but some news stories and things like that. So um, that's where you can subscribe to our show. Watch past episodes. We, we embed the video links right there. If you want the audio feed, if you don't have time to watch video, but you want to listen to us in the background, we've got that too. Try to make it as easy as possible for you to enjoy the show. So thanks so much to everybody who does every week. Look at this. The guy who was vice president of apps at Google has just announced he's leaving. Really? Maybe Kevin's got a job. This is, by the way, the new Flipboard for i, uh, I the new iPad, and it looks exactly the same. I don't, I don't, I I know they updated it for Retina, and I'm sure there's some features that I don't know about, but I I don't think it looks any different. It is. Oh, I tell you, everything's much faster, though. I have to say, you, 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 there is definitely a speed differential. Look how you just. Yeah, oh. that's good. Leo, you know. Ah, do this. Gosh, you drive me nuts. I gotta put it in the notch. Yes. Or it's just gonna keep happening through the whole show. Tell us about go to my PC, I will you? I love to drive her nuts. <laughs> so this happens all the time to me. I don't know about you, but you know, you you left work, you're going home, you're on the way, you got a bit of a commute. And uh and you just and you go, Oh, I forgot to send Leo my app cap or oh, oh it's on my computer right now that that the script I need or or maybe the PowerPoint or keynote presentation. It, it, and it drives you crazy. You don't want to turn back. If only, if only there was some way to access that Office PC uh, on the road. Well, there is. It's your iPad or your iPhone, and go to my PC. Go to my PC, which is now I think totally poorly named because it works on PCs or Macs. You can use your iPhone or your iPad. I mean, it's not just for PCs, baby. First step: go visit go to my PC dot com. Click the orange button, the Try It Free button. And enter our offer code iPad. Now that's going to get you 30 days free of Go to My PC. Then get the free iPhone or iPad app. And, and so once you've installed Go to My PC on your Office computer, Mac or PC, you could, I, you know, I should fire it up on this. I didn't even think of that. I don't have it. I don't have it turned on. Uh, I don't think it's downloaded yet. But uh, but but you, this should look awesome. Yeah. On the uh, because you're. I don't care what your resolution, your desktop is. You're going to get all the dots and more. You could do anything you could do at work. You could do on your iPad or your iPhone. Send and receive email, access any network resource, run any program. You can even grab files. Go to my PC. Try it free, free for 30 days. Uh, go to mypc.com, use the offer code iPad, and then get the app. iPad or iPhone or both. Well, nowadays, everything's a PC, right? That's the, that's the argument that the everyone has. We're in the post-PC world. It, well, we're in the post-PC world, but in my opinion, the iPad is a PC. Different form factor, right. different no, way to right. get your information, but it's a it's computer. It's a personal you computer. You could say, go to my post-PC. I yeah. bet they've registered that. <laughs> Probably. I hope so. Actually, it's go to my smart. pre-PC, isn't it now? I wanted to quickly just mention this Mike Daisy 
uh, issue. I am so sad. We knew Mike. He was on Screensaver yeah. regularly. He's, he's still around. He didn't. He's not dead. Yeah. <laughs> but I might kill him. Yeah. Because so he did. Uh, he has a, a one man show called Was It The Agony and Ecstasy of Steve Jobs? Correct. And he's done these one-man shows for years. We've known him uh, for a long, he's long time. He's funny. Very smart. Funny. It's, he's a comedian. Loves tech. These are basically co- uh, comic theater pieces. Yes. Uh, the Life of Times of Steve Jobs. He's talking a little bit about, remember, he got an iPhone and had pictures of the f- workers on it. They must have been using it either to test it or for fun. And it made him think, well, who makes these things? He went to Shenzhen, China, and he does a whole monologue about it. Uh, one of my favorite shows, This American Life, featured the monologue, then did an investigative piece on factory conditions uh, in China, making these iPads and iPhones. New York Times picked it up. Uh, FTC investigations. Apple, in fact, came clean, which is wonderful. They went out and they hired a group to audit their factories. They let ABC Nightline's cameras in. The Apple really took it seriously, to their credit. Mm-hmm. Turns out Mr. Daisy kind of made some of it up. Right. There were there were certain... <laughs> I want to say truthiness, not to make light of this, uh, but it, there were certain stories that he told as as a first person account. I talked to these people that were poisoned by this certain um, uh, chemical that they had to making. They were making iPhones and they got yeah, poisoned. He said he right. talked to a number of workers who said I was poisoned. And the no, thing is, is that he didn't and, exactly. And and it's not that that didn't happen. There were accounts of that happening right. a thousand miles away from where he was reported to be. Right. So there were things like that where once this American Life figured out, wait a second, some of this stuff isn't isn't adding up. Some of some of his his facts did add up beforehand, but not all of them. And they had to retract the entire uh, episode. His, yeah, NPR will. Well, it's actually American Public Radio, but it's a public radio. Uh, a show, This American Life, and they're very good about saying, "Yeah, you know, we're a journalistic entity. This, we thought this was true. It wasn't." Mike Daisy does say, "Look, I'm a comic. This is a theatrical performance." In hindsight, I probably should have told This American Life, "Hey, you know, guys, it's a performance. It's comedy. It's not all true. You don't expect, you know, uh, Louis C.K. when he says, and then I let my kid, you know, uh, crayon all over my car, that it really happened. It's 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 done for effect. It's truthy." Okay, fine in certain situations. Something like This American Life, when you're talking about human rights violations, yeah. there is no comedy. No. There is no artistic license. Yeah. You just can't do it. Yeah. Uh, he knew better, and it's unfortunate that um, something that got so much attention, this was the most popular episode in This American Life's history, uh, we, and it's a popular show. We told everybody, we made it homework on Mac Break Weekly, yep. that everybody should watch it, and then we would talk about it the next week. Mm-hmm. I mean, we took it very seriously, as did Apple, as did the federal government. Right. Um, so I think that, yeah, there's some culpability here. For anybody who is who either hadn't listened to the original This American Life episode or is a little confused as to what exactly happened, they are dedicating their new episode this weekend to the entire debacle. Wow. They're going to go through what was real, what they figured out, um, mm. what they talked to Mike Daisy about. That's interesting. Because they're, they're taking this retraction very seriously because they don't want to be seen as uh, an organization that doesn't check their facts because... In in in, um, in other cases, they always have. So definitely tune in over the weekend. Um, I believe they're. Ooh, see, I don't listen to it live. So or when it when it runs on NPR. So I'm not exactly sure. I'm I li- I, I download the podcast. It's a which, free podcast. Which you can do as well. Yeah, you probably you just, just get the free podcast. Get That's free the way podcast. To do it. Yeah. Um, so Sparrow Mail for iOS is out. Now, that should have been my app cap. Talking about iPhone apps that work well on the iPad. I love Sparrow on the desktop. I've been using it on Mac It's an OS X. And it, what it is, it's a better Gmail than Gmail. Mm-hmm. It's fantastic. And I highly recommend people get this. Now, I have, I've used it on the iPhone. So you say it looks all right on the iPad. Yeah, and this is the iPad 2, by the way. So keep in mind that it's going to look nicer um, on my new iPad. Sorry, this is in portrait mode, Jed, so it doesn't work that well. Uh, we'll have to figure that out um, as we go along. But what's nice about this is this is just my Gmail account. Um, and you've got just neat little um, neat little tricks that you can't do if you route Gmail through uh, Apple Mail, which I have up until this point. Oops. Okay, so this is you know my inbox priority, all of my different labels. If I want to add another account, I can go ahead and add that. Um, IMAP accounts, um, that's what works. And I've got some settings here where I can decide to show the priority inbox and uh, always reply all. Who would do that? Don't ever do that. Uh, but if I wanted to, I could. 
Um, but if I go back into my email itself and I f- go, wait, oh, I have to get used to this. This is isn't that cool. It's very Twitter esque. Yeah, it's like the Twitter app. So I can go ahead and reply. I can favorite. I can label. I can archive. I can trash it or none of the above. Um, if I want to quickly look at my, so this is just my regular inbox here, quickly look at my priority inbox, kind of hard to see, but there are like four little dots under here. I go ahead and move to unread quickly, move to my starred, got to, got to deal with this stuff later, move to priority, um, move back to inbox. It actually goes right back. So you don't have to go this way and then this way again. Um, and you know, composing stuff, very easy. What it, what I decided to do is let it pull from my contacts and Facebook contacts. That's the neat thing. It'll take those pictures. Yeah, so you've got a lot of nice pictures. It's not compulsory. You can choose to opt out of the Facebook thing. I know some people just have issues with the Facebook, but Sparrow Mail is, it takes a little getting used to, especially if you're used to using the built-in mail clan on iOS. On the other hand, if you're used to using Gmail, it'll immediately be very comfortable for you. It's really designed for Gmail users as a dedicated app on on the iOS platform. So, Gmail users will love it. And they may have had some trouble with Apple Mail. But but I route Gmail through. I don't go to No, I Gmail do the same thing. I'm like you. Safari. I like using a desktop client. Mm-hmm. I use Apple's Mail on uh, OS 10 and I use the Mail on the uh, on the iPad. Me too. And I prefer it. But I do know a lot of people who are used to the Gmail keystrokes, how Gmail works, how Gmail thinks, which is very different, and this will make you happy. Yes. Agreed. Uh, it's yeah. 2.99. So for $3, if you are fed up with the mail experience you have, I really think it's worth it. It acts differently enough than the others so that I, I don't think you'll think, oh, it's $3 that I didn't need to spend. Mm-hmm. And again, it's going to look better than ever on that new iPad. But on the iPad 2, as you just saw, it's fine. It's text. You can read it just fine. Also, and this is not new as of this week. I believe it's new as of almost two weeks ago now, but because so many more people might have iPads for the first time and be small business owners or for whatever reason be in the position to charge somebody money, Square has a new app out, Square Register. Have you Uh, played around with this guy at all? You know, it's funny. Square's getting some competition. PayPal announced a Sabre-style pyramid Square. <laughs> Isn't pyramid just a bad idea when you're talking about money uh, being exchanged? I'm just saying. Uh, and so they're, but I love Square. We love uh, Scarred Case, which is also from Square. Absolutely. So what's new about the Square app on the, uh, so, on the iOS? So this, is, this app is designed to be used with the little Square dongle, which we've shown off in the past. Yeah. Um, and this is just. What a great way to use a uh, charge card it's dongle. Awesome. So this, this is, um, this is, if I go into, oh, here we go. Still getting to know this. This is my account. So I don't actually charge people for stuff. But let's say I wanted to. I've, I've started to make homemade hummus. I'm getting really good at it. And what if I wanted to buy a bunch of Tupperware and start selling this? You, you could know, be the hummus truck. queen I could be of, the hummus uh, lady. of San Francisco. I'm kind of oh. into that idea, actually, if this tech thing doesn't work out. You never know. You never know. Hey, you could go you know. all over the world selling hummus. Right. You could be like Johnny Hummelseed. I'll go to Lebanon and be like, yeah, I know this is this your is thing, American hummus. but I think I might be able to take you down. Sarah Hummelseed. <laughs> so hummus is really, it's very easy to make, actually. She spreads hummus so everywhere I, she goes. If I wanted to, I could see all of the activity, all of the folks that had paid me up until this point. And then in my settings area, this is really cool. I can say, oh, I always need a signature. Um, I can decide to add a certain kind of tax. If I believe it's 8.5 in San Francisco, it might be higher than that now, but I can automatically add tax to anything I ring people up for. I can say something like, you know, is t- are tips on or off? You know, am I selling beer? Am I, you know, a barista? That sort of thing where tipping is kind of implied or expected type of a thing. I can go ahead and start asking for suggested tips, you know, well, based that's on... Me. That's yeah. what card case does. Yeah. Want to give I them always, one extra buck? And it's so easy to be so, like, yeah, of course. Because then I'm like, they'll know if I the don't. The best reason to use card case as a, as a business is you're going to get better tips for your employees. Oh, yeah. And this works easily. with card case. Same thing. Just great. So if somebody who if Leo comes into my hummus shop and he fires up card case, then he, I get a tip here on Square Register. No, sadly you don't. Maybe some baba ganoush to go with the hummus. Right, he'll. Uh, I, I automatically see him. I see his his little profile picture. This I can is what they say, do at Acre. Yeah. This is how it works at our local uh, little coffee shop. So this is the, the Square has had an interface before to you know, basically act like a little business and be it's able point to point of sale. Yeah. And to be able to either wow. swipe credit cards or uh, electronically uh, exchange money through register, or I'm sorry, through card case, um, and it's great. You've got you've got your little calculator here. If I charge you five dollars, 
for the hummus. I've already added tax in, so it's going to end up being 542. Please, sir, pay up. And there you have it. And then I can also, um, add, like in my item library, let's say I, you know, I serve one, I can add a bunch of stuff here. I can then go into favorite items, stuff that sells a lot more regularly. I just love Square Register. It's a completely free app because it's really just, you know, it's just so, a point of sale. So is, th- is this replacing the existing Square app or is this a, a one more feature app? Like you have Square, Square Register, Card Case... Or is this the way Square is going to work from now? On? Yeah, this is the this is the new and improved okay. register version. Okay. So this is for the uh, for card case users. It, it, well, it's for businesses or people who are collecting money. Got it. Got you don't it. have to be like a registered business. Um, anybody can use uh, Square to transfer money back and forth. But this is by far the nicest interface that I've seen so far. And I just I see people with iPads as their cash registers all the time. And by the way, this can hook up to not every kind of printer, but certain kinds of printers. So if you're in the position where you think, this all sounds great, except that I got to print receipts and things like that, you can actually do this. Dep- if, as long as you have the, the right hardware. Um, not just any hardware will do, but obviously it's going to be like the iPad in general, where it starts with a few printers, and then eventually you can kind of use all of them. That's neat. Isn't that neat? So people have been asking me to do some dictation. Okay. Should I? Yes. Can I show a few more things? Yes. I don't want to interrupt. It's not your Friday flow. or anything. I don't have anywhere to be. You want to see the Kindle app? This yes. is the Kindle yes. app designed for Retina display. Great, because I I was going to get a chuckle out of the fact that they hadn't updated. They yet. did update okay, it, and, good. and I got to say, uh, it's the same you know app, but it I, you know the graphics and stuff have been updated. The book covers look fantastic. Uh, this is so legible. Now I have it set. Um, and, and there's different ways to uh, to set it. I have the sepia background, but if you want, this is one thing a, 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 a e-ink Kindle can't do is black black text on a white white background. You can totally do that. Uh, you can also set the brightness, which is I have it kind of turned down. Um, I have to say, it looks look how I don't know if you can tell, but that just that is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, iBooks though has a smoother page turn. I, that's that is not a very good page turn. You can turn that off if you're a if you uh, don't want to in the Kindle. Right, it's just a it's, it, it's just I, an animation. Most people turn it off, yeah. But the iBooks one is is actually kind of uh, kind of sweet. Um you wanted to see Sparrow. You showed Sparrow on uh your iPad, iPad two. 2. I think it even looks better. Well, of course it will yeah. because you've got the Retina display. Yeah. I mean, there's a there's uh, something from So I I you know, I think that they're really they're really doing good. They're really doing good stuff here. This retina display is uh, spectacular. So let's dictate. What should I do? I should send you an email. Yeah. All right. Let's send let's, me an email. let's try it because that's that's how people are going to use it, isn't it? Send me uh, an email. So let's. Oh. I will type your name. We'll just start with that. But now, now here's the dictation key, right? Yep. By the way, when you first turn it on, you'll see one of the questions is, "Do you want to use dictation or not?" Really? You can actually, as like globally, say, "No, I don't want to use dictation. I don't know why that is." Well. I do. Hi, Sarah. It's uh, Leo just checking in to say, uh, I'm sorry, I still don't have an app cap, but the show is only about halfway over. And I am sure that by the time this show is over, I will have an app cap, period. So uh, it's been great talking to you and uh, looking forward to seeing you once again after you beat me up, period. Bye. So it's now not. Now it's a, working. It's, Hi, sir. Just leave checking and say, I'm sorry. I still don't have an app. As the show is I only still about, don't have I an app. I still don't have a, I still don't have an app. And notice it underlined it, which means I don't think I got that right. Wow. Uh, and that... it gives me a pretty good, I, it left out don't, but I can easily put that in. It got everything else right. I'm sure that by the time the show's over, I'll have an app. So it's been great talking to you. Looking forward to seeing you once again after you beat me up. Bye. Wow. Wow. That was awesome. And you weren't really that close. I was, I was slurring my speech. I, I was drunk. I, I think this is very good. Yeah, that's um, actually, I am And impressed. that's key. And that's key. It did mm-hmm. drop the uhs. I had a couple of uhs in there. It knew enough not to leave those in. Um, because it, it, one of the issues about an iPad for me is I don't want to carry a keyboard. And I'm, for my light data entry, I don't mind the keyboard. But I don't want to type a lot on that. That is very good. Dictation. dictation. And, and notice it, it, it let me do a fairly long paragraph. I didn't have to uh, do a little bit, then do a little more, and do a little bit, then a little more. I love that. that that's wow. really, really impressive. The only, only issue I have with dictation, because I like the idea of this, is that sometimes when I'm typing, I hit it by accident. 
and I got to go, no, no, I don't want to dictate right, right. now. Just because I, it's, it's part of the keyboard. And It's for people like you that they have that global turn the thing off, I guess. I guess so. But I like having it, so I don't want to get rid of it entirely. All right, before we move on, Leo, I think you want to thank Ford. I do. <laughs> I do. And I also want to show you Infinity Blade 2 updated with the new graphics. And I want my bangs to grow out so I don't have to keep having them in my face like this. Grr. Just wow. off topic. What are you doing? Just looking at Infinity Blade. Oh, man. oh sorry. <laughs> We're never doing this on Friday. I'll be with you in a moment. Never really on Friday good, isn't it? again. That's really special. All the people who say you guys talk about yourselves too much, more apps, please, are going to have a field day with this show. This is all apps. All I've been doing is showing you apps. Oh, I know, but it's well, you know those. Right. You can't please everybody all the time. Oh my goodness, that is really good. Look at that. That's gorgeous. The, I feel like Those spring. cherry blossoms have never been prettier. They are the best cherry blossoms ever. All right. Anyway, you know, I took a curve. It's a rainy day, as you noticed. You heard it, the rain yeah. on the roof. Uh, and I took a curve a little bit hard. Did a you? A little bit hard today. And I could feel those wheels going out from under me. And I'm thinking, you know, I have a 2010 Mustang, but this new 2013 Ford Taurus with the curve control... That's a good idea. That's, that's what we call using technology to make a car safer. Not taking the wheel out of your hands, but to, but to make it safer, to, to help you be a better driver. Curve control is uh, one of the many assistive technologies that are in new Ford vehicles. They've got the, the Bliss blind spot monitoring. Uh, they've got the, the, uh, the special adaptive cruise control. And this new curve control, the computer in the car... 100 times every second is checking roll rate, yaw rate, lateral acceleration, wheel speed, and steering angle. The idea, of course, is to not let you oversteer like I did earlier today where I went too hard. I tried to turn the car faster than it could go, and as a result, the back wheel started to break away from me, and you lose control of the vehicle. Curve control prevents that. It's monitoring those, those uh, key uh, uh, factors, and when it sees a problem, immediately... It fixes it. It reduces uh, engine torque rapidly. It applies, and all of this, by the way, doesn't feel like, oh my God, the car's taking over. It just feels right. It just feels like, oh yeah, this is good. It uh, applies four-wheel braking. It slows the uh, vehicle up to 10 miles an hour each second. It can work on wet or dry pavement. It's really on wet pavement that you want this when the, when the road just doesn't have that traction. It's incredible. And one of many new features, look, watch you can't. You cannot oversteer here. This is actually. This is on the uh, site Ford.com/cars/Taurus, and you can read about this. We were on the test track there in uh, Dearborn. It was so much fun to go on that test track. And you know what they do? It's really cool. They have um, an area of the track with terrains from all over the world. So they imported like cobblestones from oh. Baghdad and and bumpy streets from Paris from all over the world. And so they try all of these technologies on the different surfaces that they might encounter all over the world. They can make them wet or dry. It's really pretty neat. I, I, anyway, find out more. And, and if you're in the market for a new car, go to your Ford dealer. Ask to uh, drive the new 2013 Taurus. It is incredible. Watch this. Look at this. It just it's, it's, it just holds the road. You cannot oversteer. Ford.com slash car slash Taurus. We thank Ford so much for their support. Uh, and I still love my 2010 Mustang. I just drive it more carefully in the rain. Um, I had a little spin out uh, on the way to work Exactly. Today. Yeah. Because uh, here in California, it's we get rain. It's in, in, does it? We don't get it very often. And so uh, old motor oil and grease and stuff that's collected on the roadway, the first time that water hits it, and it has it's been weeks. It's just very dangerous out there. So yeah. please drive safely. <laughs> or get a Ford. Or, yeah, and then you don't have to worry about Look it. At You'll this. Just be Look in, at this. I am you not kidding. I can tell this is HD, baby. This is spectacular. This is spectacular. And I can't wait to get the new dungeons. You know what it is? It's better than our awesome TVs. Now our awesome TVs need to be retina display. It is. I'm going to be really... <laughs> they look like crap. I don't like my TV you gotta anymore. you got to stand way back. That is, really, big that is room. the real problem, frankly. Is what? Uh, that this display sets a standard for what you want displays to look for, look like. And you're not just your TVs, well, but your computer. Hey, you're you not you got to drive game. the technology forward. Yeah, and it does. It it's, really uh, does. That's yeah. Infinity Blade 2. Uh, they did update that for Retina Display. And yes, Infinity Blade Dungeons, which they showed at the event, mm -hmm. uh, will be out. April. What? April. I, so. I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not sure I that they've cannot, announced a specific date. I cannot wait. I'm very excited. We got a couple comments. Well, we got a lot of comments, but we have time for a couple of comments. Um, the first one comes from Justin, and he had 
a bit of a theory on the video that you are so impressed with. He says, watching various Twitch shows over the past week, there's been a lot of debate about whether or not anybody's going to use this improved camera on the new iPad. The use case I'm surprised I haven't heard mention is creating multicam 1080p videos with an iPhone, an iPad, and yeah. Final Cut Pro 10 or X. Yeah. Apple recently updated Final Cut to include multicam support. It could automatically sync source videos by evaluating the audio from each. With the dramatic price reduction of Final Cut mm. last year, someone interested in creating quality video now has a very low barrier to entry, especially if they already own an iPhone and or an iPad. Maybe the camera in the new iPad isn't meant to sell iPads, it's meant to sell Final Cut. Thank you, Justin. I think it's I meant think to sell true. iPads. It's meant to sell it all. But it's but it's meant to be used interchangeably. The other thing that uh, I think was very encouraging, I know Trey Ratcliffe uh, tweeted this, and a number of people who make camera apps uh, for the iPad were a little concerned that uh, you know, Trey is stuck in customs and his uh, stuck, uh, what, what is uh, 100 cameras in one app. Yes. Um, uses the camera and is really a great app for your camera. There's Camera Plus and, of course, this, the Awesome Cam that we talked about. Mm -hmm. Camera Awesome. Camera Awesome. All of these still work. So uh, there may be features in the new camera that they can't take advantage of uh, without an update, things like having multiple face recognition, things like that. But uh, these, these camera apps without modification seem to still work. So that's really, really good news that, uh, you know, we can take pictures with existing apps without an update. Right. Uh, and get the advantage of these great new pictures. Boy, that doesn't that look good? I just, Path really, um, I just think this is just uh, like, uh, this is an iPhone app. Um, and it's just fantastic. It's yeah. Just, it's just gorgeous. Uh, you're not going to, because uh, everything scales so well, you're not going to um, say, oh, gosh, you know, this, this iPhone app just looks bad. Uh, it's going to look a little big, but I don't think you're going to feel bad about it. You know, we did get another email from Dave McNally, who had a question also about video, but more pertaining to audio. I'm loving the video. Because uh, audio on the iPad is not as, as amazing as the video is. And he says, there seems to be a great opportunity for electronic news gathering. Reporters could record and edit news in 1080p, post right from the site, right. as in, you know, where they're standing on you know, a corner where there's a car accident, for example. But the only thing missing is good audio. I googled some stuff. Some of the reviews for iRig he uses as an example aren't very good on Amazon. How can we get high quality into our new iPads? And that's a good question. I have been on a um, quest. Have you? For better cameras, for b uh, better uh, microphones, rather, both for the iPhone and the iPad. And there are a lot of companies that make ca uh, analog microphones that go into the analog jack. And I have been using those on the iPhone with mixed results. What I'm waiting uh, for, and, and uh, there are some, are apps that will use the digital 30-pin connector, or I'm sorry, mics that will use the digital 30-pin uh -huh. uh, connector. And I've tried a few of those and have yet to be really blown away by the quality. So, But there are some. Um, and uh, I'm trying to remember the name. I think Blue makes one that just j jacks right in, it, into it. Um, they have updated it. It was an analog mic that required analog pins on the 30-bin connector, the iPhone 4S and the new iPad do not. So the, I believe that they have updated now that mic uh, from, uh, from Blue. Sounds like a good theme for a future episode. I, I you will, know, how yeah, to be like is. a one-person uh, operation. The Mikey, that's it. The See, Mikey? it says coming soon. See, that's the problem. They, they, that's not the... Go back one. Oh, well, that's interesting. I, uh, uh, these are all coming soon. The Mikey digital that's the one we're waiting for so the minute they come out with that that should be blue makes good mics and you see the idea is that docks in the 30 pin connector it's a stereo microphone it should give you good results but we've been waiting for them to update this and it looks you like still it's still got to have a subject that's pretty close though so what is that it's spark not... digital uh, uh chad that's that looks like it's supposed to go to an ipad but that's a little bit much well, that's for something like <laughs> our Twit operation when you're right. sitting in one place with right. a microphone in front of right. you. That's pretty I'll cool. I'll tell you actually. what, I'll order a few of these and, uh, and we'll play. I have yet to find something that I'm really crazy about. Um, the Mikey's the best idea. I want something compact, right? But that will only work on the original iPad and uh, older iPhones because it's, it's an analog connector. We have to do some research and give our, we have yet, everybody a I've recommendation. Tried a, and I have yet to find something I'm, I could say, hey, this is the one you want. Yeah, um, so if anybody knows of something that we haven't yeah, mentioned us. or we don't talk about, yeah. please do so that we can try them w out. What we need is, you know, there are a lot of USB mics, but it will not work with a USB connector. Mm-hmm. Uh, on the iPad, what we need is something that has a support for the digital 30-pin connector. 
All right. Got an email from David. This is a very important question, a burning question. I have an iPad 2, and 75% of my content is from Twit TV, both mm. downloads and streaming. How does the Twit podcast look on the new iPad, and would it be worth upgrading just for Twit video? Maybe Slingbox 2. Love the network. <laughs> David. We do offer 720p video, which yes. look, should look fine on an iPad 2 as, or even an iPad 1 as well. We don't offer yet 1080p video. The file size would be so big, and I don't think yeah. you would see a significant difference, frankly, between 720p and 1080p. We're just talking heads. So for now, I don't think you should upgrade the iPad if that's the main reason. If we don't offer anything reason. that takes advantage of that higher resolution. We have yet to go retina. That's we are not saying. retina. We're not retina yet. You know, I remember when uh, uh, Alex Lindsay um, did, we started doing Mac Break. This was four or five years ago in mm -hmm. 1080p. He had purchased a camera, a very, very expensive camera from Lucasfilm. It was a, uh, an early Cinecam Alta that uh, supported 1080p shooting. Nothing did at the time. Um, and it was used on the models of like the you know when the ships oh. come in and stuff like that so uh -huh. it was this really neat camera that lucas uh, sold him it was really expensive and uh, and we we would shoot this very high quality video put it on itunes but nobody could watch it i couldn't watch it on my computer nothing was powerful enough to play it and that was just a few years ago now of course an ipad is powerful enough to play yeah it. we've really come a long way uh and i think it's going to be time for us to uh, to start putting out stuff right now i, I we've made this uh, we've made this an app cap pick before but um Instacast, which is our, I think, our favorite podcast uh, catcher. Instacast is very nice. I, I believe it was the, it was the first real iPad app that was not just uh, universal, and but they an iPad have app. updated it for the Retina display. Um, oh, that's so great! If you are watching video, here's a tech news today. Let's see if it's a video version of a tech news today. No, this is uh, looks like it's the audio version. I can't tell. Uh, oh, it, it, it'll say it on the on the let's on the see, let's find some video on the thumbnail. It'll say yeah. Here it is, iPad today. That's a good show. I've heard that's a good show. Oh, it's one of the best. Yeah, I'm surprised it hasn't won a Peabody yet. Uh, did we? Uh, did we? Nor uh, was it nominated, actually. What, did, did we enter it? No, it's okay. We'll do it next time. <laughs> did were, were any of our shows nominated? Uh, well, we've entered. Uh, well, that's a, another story. TNT, Twit, and Twig, I think. Okay, but we don't know yet if they've been nominated. They're gonna have a live broadcast, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I think we just know if they win. Oh, you, that's what, that's, okay. I think so. That's All right, playing. so this is uh, one of these. That's audio. I, I want to try to find video here. The problem is it's going to take forever to download. It will look great. And this app is going to give you uh, every advantage of, of good-looking video. Um, sorry, <laughs> you stop. Don't know what you're doing. Stop. Yes. Here, I wonder if it'll play now. Ah. Uh, there we go. Okay. I guess we've got enough of it to play. Um, it's going to look great, but we're not sending 1080p. So uh, it's 720p. This looks pretty good. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying anything against it. But uh, there, you don't need. You, this would look just as good on an iPad too. Right. Yeah. So yes, Dave, David. I hope you can get the new iPad because that's just fun. Yeah. Look, our sponsors. Wonderful. I think this looks good. Beautiful. Instacast. Highly recommended. Yeah. That's a. That's a. <laughs> That guy, you're, this, this, she's great, but I don't know why they have him on that show. No, that guy on the right is good looking. Who's that annoying hen-like creature on the left? She's got a bad voice. She's cute. I like oh, her. Oh, her voice is like she nails on a my chalkboard. Heart pound. Yeah. <laughs> All right. She's anyway, terrible. I bet you if I exit out of this, it's going to keep playing, and I'm going to regret it. Fire that woman yesterday. Uh, that's uh, that's so. Instacast HD has been updated for Retina Display. Awesome. But you know, <laughs> I cannot yet. On most of these apps that have been updated, Infinity Blade, the one exception, really see much difference. Well, are, do you have bad eyes? Because it's pretty big No, difference. the Retina display, I see a huge difference. Oh. But I'm just saying that, like, Flipboard, the new version uh -huh. for Because Retina, it already looks so nice. It looks great without yeah. it. So yeah, I guess exactly. maybe it's maybe it's like icons are improved because they do have to do double size icons. I think a lot of the vector-based stuff now maybe is beautiful. Yeah. But you really do have to. I, I'm actually farsighted. I can't look at anything this close. Yeah. I have to kind of so look at stuff like is this. Is this better for you or worse for you? Well, it's unchanged more than a nearsighted <laughs> I'm person. I'm nearsighted. I can get real close. Yeah. And I still don't see the dots. Well, but, uh, but, you know, watching a movie like this... You gotta this, wear your glasses. It's kind of dorky. I gotta Yeah. Admit. But no, I mean, you know, when I'm on an airplane, I've got my iPad as far away as possible, you know, and I'm kind of sitting back because that's just more comfortable for me. So in a way, I wish I could... I could take advantage of doing this and it look, looking do more you wanna, beautiful. Do you want to see the new Netflix? This is the updated... Uh, Netflix. Uh, hey, why not? 
we've got all night. <laughs> Oh, I'm not. Oh, look, in. you got to sign in. Here, instead don't look. of instead Let's of Let's do that, an ad while I log in. All right. Uh, reminder, really quick before yeah. before we get to our exciting new sponsor. Well, they're not new sponsor, but we haven't had them for a while. I, I want to uh, remind everybody how to get a hold of us. You have a million how? different ways. Well, you could always tweet either at Leo Laporte or at Sarah Lane because we always read our. I do read my tweets. tweets. Me yeah. too. Leo does not read our email as much as I do, and by not as much, I mean never. Never. I don't even know how to log in. Well, it's better that way. iPad to at twit.tv is how you get a hold of us. I forward stuff to him that he needs to read. Oh, it's just better for, you know, I'm more of a manager. Oh. Or you could leave us a voicemail at 757-504-IPAD. I'm a little behind on a couple of those because this is kind of a fun and exciting week, what with the, the new iPads and all. So um, rest assured that we will get to them eventually. Or you can always send us a video. It can be a question or a comment or a tutorial or a dance or your parrot. Uh, just make sure it's 30 seconds or less so that we can play it on the show. <laughs> Look at this. What? Netflix. It looks so good. Oh, uh, I love Should we watch RuPaul Drag Race together? Uh, I've already seen it. That's cool. Have you really? No. I don't, I don't know why it's in my top that. 10. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, because it knows you. It knows me and it knows I love RuPaul. So um, this is a uh, little anime. I'm actually not doing a Netflix ad. I wish I were doing a Netflix ad. No, this, I just, is, this is actually not our sponsor so today. so much fun to watch uh, movies on this thing, I think. I don't know if this is 1080p, but Netflix has added 1080p movies uh, for, uh, for uh, the as, uh, as has iTunes. We downloaded yeah. uh, the first season of Game of Thrones, which is new. Oh, well, it's new to iTunes. Right. Obviously, that everyone who has HBO or has already seen it. Um, or didn't want to or whatever, but um, but we're watching that on 1080p, which is, you can access um I can't tell on my big screen iPad. TV, I can't see that much difference. Uh, I bet on here I might be able to see it. I can see a difference. Can you? Yeah. It's, uh, that show also is just visually very exciting, so it's, it's worth it. It's not yet Blu-ray quality, though, I will say that. No. Yeah. It's not. But if you are the kind of person who doesn't want to deal with discs, then... But I got to tell you, Matthew nice. McConaughey in 1080p, when he takes his shirt off... So let's talk a little bit about Audible.com. Yeah, what is Audible? You know, he does take his shirt off in every single movie. Have you noticed that? Eh, I am not a it's big fan. It's as if girls like that kind of thing. I mean, thing. we like it, but... Look at that. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Yeah, that's nice. Wow. This is going to be the, the new movie. See, and the thing is, if you sit up this close to it, it's bigger than your ten, than your big screen TV right. across the room. Yeah. And so this is what you want. You want to be able to just kind of sit in bed and look at this, and it's going to be high def. Hey, let's, let's, let's let's talk about Audible. I know, I know, I know. Audible. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying, you know, I we don't know, actually know, want to watch a movie right now. Actually, you might be watching Game of Thrones. The new one, Clash of Kings, is coming out soon. But you got to read the book. Have you read the book yet? You got to read the book before you watch. No. You won't know what's going on. It just goes too fast. But if you've read the book, you're gonna. Did you like the original, the first one? Uh, Game of Thrones? Well, I'm not reading the book. I'm watching the HBO show. Yeah, no, you should read the book. Books are hard. That's where I Audible don't have comes time in. I to read anything. I know what you're saying. Who does? And, and, you know, and you open the book, you read one page, and it's, you fall asleep. Yeah. Audible, I, you know, in fact, it really is great. With the Apple TV, I have Audible on my, uh, on my uh, computer and iTunes. I airplay it over to the Apple TV. I can fill, it fills the room. I can listen to my book. I can do housework. Love I that. take it to the gym, and I'm listening on my phone. I'm driving down the car. I'm listening to my Mustang on the Bluetooth. I just, it really means that I get two or three hours of reading every single day, and that's like a luxury. Doesn't that feel like you would like to be able to read a yeah, couple hours a day? because most people say, I'd love to read, but Who I have to time? do chores. I have to make dinner, and I've got to walk to the store. It's like you yeah. can actually be reading your book while you're doing all of those things that you don't want to be doing. Audio books are a blessing. I have all my audio books on my iP iPad as well. I want you, I, I strongly encourage you to give it a try if you haven't yet. Go to Audible. Dot com actually it's at audiblepodcast.com that's right slash ipad today and uh, you could there's a hundred thousand titles there it's going to be I admit it's kind of hard to to pick but uh, here's here's the good news you can get one book free uh, by going to audiblepodcast.com slash ipad today pick that book you'll sign up for the gold account that's a book a month your first month's free your first book is free and you can cancel it any time at no cost to you and the book is yours to keep forever. So that's a pretty good deal. Uh, there's lots of great books in there. There's the Steve Jobs biography. Highly recommended. If you like, did you see that new Star Wars is out? That's a good one. 
I um, haven't seen. Well, there's a million Star Wars novels if you like the Star Wars. No- see, they have see Fate of the Jedi Apocalypse. <laughs> Oh, you do you get that absolutely free. The siblings, Jedi Knights Valen and Jaisela Horn, continue See, they, uh, to they hold their documents. And I'm telling you, if you close your like eyes, it's better than a movie. Who are a See, she's nervous. got her eyes closed. The inspector <laughs> narrowed his eyes. No, it's waited, it's um. Giving them a chance. It comes I just to life. Love, I love this. It's like somebody's doing reading to you, like your mom is reading to you, or a play. Anyway, you gotta try it if you have it. It plays on everything, including the iPad, iPhone, iPods. Uh, Zooms, Kindles, all of that stuff. Uh, go to audiblepodcast.com slash iPad today and sign up right now. You will love it. Go ahead, do it's time to put on Fanny Fanny hats. Where are the hats? Fanny oh, hats. Would you like one? I have one. Oh, you one. have one. I have a funny hat. What am I gonna be today? I think I can, I'm gonna be We have be a good choice of hats, don't we? A what is this? What is that? Queen of Hearts? Yes. Where you are, you are, um, you're like in that, um, you're like Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> and I'm like the Jamaica <laughs> man. Yaman, yeah, Naughty yeah, Dreadman. Light up a spleef and let's get some, uh, I, I caps today, man. I love how you put that on every <laughs> few months and then we pretend like we've never done the Jamaica joke before. Well, so my app cap is. What is your app cap? The most exciting app. Ever. I am so excited, man. Now, I would... I can't believe it. No. Oh, wait a minute. Now I'm Kung Fu Panda. Right. That's different. <laughs> That's a whole different accent. <laughs> oh, your Jamaican one was so good, though. <laughs> so sorry. That's over. So this, this app, I, would, I, w- I won't even pretend to act like you haven't heard about it because... Um, it uh, has 10.8 million daily users that are logged in through Holy Facebook cow. only. And um, it oh, has. Oh, this is the hottest app. 25 it just came out. million registered users. It's less than a month old. Yeah. This is so. I know exactly where you're going with this. You this do. is a very hot app. This is called Draw Something and is the most fun. It's by Oh My God Pop. OMG Pop, and um, this app is has taken the world by storm. It's what is it kind of like Pictionary o- over the internet, kind of or uh, sort of, yeah, sort of. Sort okay, of? so let's go to a game. I thought I was playing a concurrent game. Darn it! Well, um, but yeah, but you probably failed, fell off the face of the earth when you started doing the show, right? Well, let's no, uh, darn it. Well, Heather Frank and I were in the middle of a game, so. Um, I'll go ahead and start a new game, I guess, with you. So, oh, I'm not playing right now. Play, play with Chad. He's he's not doing. Omg, anything. Chad, is that your username? Uh, yeah. Okay. Username Omg Chad with an S at the end. Omg Chad's. Z- yeah. Omg well, that's Chad not was confusing. taken. Omg oh. Chad was taken. I know. What it's such a popular that? game. It, it really is. I know. That's annoying. You know, uh, Sarah Lane was taken on Pinterest, and I was really mad about that. That makes me mad. That just. Okay, so here I have the option to either draw a sled, draw DNA, or draw snow. Hmm. Mm. Now, so I could draw a snowman. Well, so I, I feel like Chad, even though this is a harder one, so you get more points, so your incentive is to choose the, the hardest word possible. I feel like I feel like Chad would maybe get this. Now, I have already paid for a more interesting color palette. What you you get credits? You pay by, for a color palette? Well, you you can was, pay through credits. What was your original palette? Um, it was uh, fewer colors. Okay. There was like it's there not was that interesting. There was black. Right? There was red and yellow. I think type okay. of thing. So I just have more of a gradient okay. if I want to go crazy. And if you want more colors, I guess you don't you need a see, lot of colors. No, I, I got the holiday package. That's what I sure. decided to buy. So you can yeah. see you get different credits. Right. I have 189, so I actually can't buy any yet, but I can keep playing, right? So you I'm incentivized. Them. So it's not real money. You don't have to pay money for this. No, but you, you could, could of course, if, if you wanted to from scratch. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah. so that's obviously why these sorts of games work because people, you know, it doesn't seem like that much. So if I go ahead and, oh gosh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw snow. So I'm going to go ahead and... You know, so oh wait, no, I go ahead and say no. That's too. That's too big. I'll I'll use my eraser. I want a smaller. Here's a, here's a snowman, and I'll do like a little corn cob pipe, <laughs> and a button nose. So glad you got the holiday package because it's and made this so much more realistic. Made out of coal and a little hat on mm-hmm. top. I can only imagine how horrible that would have been without the holiday package. We know, exactly. I mean, it's obviously a really nice. Mm. So I'll go ahead and Chad's probably going to look at this and say, it looks like a snowman. It's just snow. But what he'll get on his side is, uh, no, I don't want to rate you right now. What Chad will get on his side is um, a little 
almost like a little Scrabble board at the bottom. And it'll have some of the letters that are included in this word and some, some letters that are not. So it's like Pictionary. Yeah, yeah, but did, but, but did but you get assigned? But you don't in Pictionary. You get assigned the word, the picture. Yes, you're making it up. Well, and in Pictionary, someone just has to say like they either know it Snowman. or they don't. Right, right. And this, it's there's like a, Hangman meets Pictionary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so there's a little bit of hint going on. Brian Lamb, who uh, used to work for Gizmodo, and I have been playing, and he drew this picture where it's like. I have no idea what he right. drew. The answer was hair gel, and it was just basically a bunch of scribbles you can't and a line. Draw hair gel. It's very hard to draw. Right. He, what he was drawing was like a hand and hair gel. Right. Anyway, but I could. I just looked at the letters long enough and kind of did like almost like a uh, boggle type thing where I finally figured it out. So it's kind of like Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, yeah. and so then what it is is it, it's like a group effort. So it's it's about. So um, you're playing with more than one other person. I, yeah, I'm playing a bunch of games. It's like we're just friends. But, but it's one one game per... It's a head-to-head -head game. It's not there's a mul multiple people playing one game. No, it's no. one-on-one, it's one on one, yeah. and then you can have a bunch of concurrent games. And I have to play if, this. if this you fun. and I are playing yeah. and we keep getting it right, we both keep getting points. So it's not like I want to beat you. Right. We want to both just keep getting it. And it's collaborative. And sometimes, like uh, a couple nights ago... Uh, my clue, MG and I were playing, and my clue to were draw for him... Were you in the same room him, when you were playing? Yeah. That's how we communicate. <laughs> and my clue uh, I had to draw for him was Oprah. And it's like, Oprah? No, but where did you get Oprah? Did it give you Oprah? Yeah. Or? So it does give you the thing you're going to draw. Yes. Oh, okay. I oh, thought you, you were making it, it up. Oh, no, 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 no. That makes it much harder. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because nobody's going to assign themselves hair gel. Oh, yes, Or yes. Oprah. I, no. That's why there's an easy, difficult, or hard. So Oprah... Just out of curiosity... What did you do for him? What did I do? So yeah. the thing is, is that obviously, I would have done. A, obviously, there aren't a any thin lady dragging a maggot wagon of meat. That with an O. On no one would head. ever get that. No. Oh, I know some people would get it. Nobody get that. The thing with draw something is, it's not as if there are judges going, "Hey, you just wrote the word Oprah." You kind of just have to. You could do that. You could do that, but that's not yeah. fun. So no. what I did was, I drew a lady, a little stick figure lady, with a chair going, "Yay!" That's good. And a little iPad under her. Perfect. And then another lady with a bright red dress and big hair. Yeah. Who which had a little thought bubble, yeah. and it said, "And you get an iPad." And MG was like, "Oh, that's Oprah." Wow. So you can get creative. That was good. So you can write text even though it's kind of... Yeah, well, I've, I'm not writing the words. And I'm not right. saying this woman has a... So, but, you know what I mean? It's yeah, I mean, almost like no a... Rules. You could it's write a little it. bit of like $20,000 $20, pyramid. Yeah. It is so fun. So there are, there are two versions. And actually, it's important to, oh, I gotta get it, to know that Which there are two versions. It's called Draw Something. Draw Something HD. HD, it don't get the nice. iPhone version. And I finished my game, so oh, you, you did. check it out. So, yeah, yeah. so this is actually kind of cool. Not only is Chad has Chad finished for me, but I can watch him solve mine. Wow. So, and it's actually, he can see that I drew something uh, beforehand. Oh, look, and, look. And, and, um, and erased it. So it, you almost kind of have to have an incentive to try to get it right the first time, or it's kind of embarrassing. So now, here, there's... This is me guessing what Chad is drawing. So, uh, that, oh. Chad. 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 Okay, it's a bone. bone. But, but well, look. then start to type if that's what you think it is. Chad. Well, Good. it's boner because it's, it's got five it's words. It's bones, bones. Bones, plural. Bones. Because I, I saw it. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so now Chad and I both get points because we're awesome. See that? Isn't that fun? I, I'm definitely playing this, and I will not play with anybody who writes the words. You have to draw a picture. Oh, yeah. That, it's, I will not play with you if you wrote che Oprah. Cheaters never prosper. Cheaters never prosper. Ever. And the so, other way around. So not only is there, there's a free version. It's called uh, Draw Something Free. It is ad-supported. That might not bother you. 99 but, cents, you get the ad-free version, right? And here's the thing. Yeah. So Heather... Do you get the palette? My friend Heather and I, I'm not sure because I haven't even downloaded the free version. Yeah. Uh, the Draw Something HD is 99 cents, so... It's worth it. Not a big deal. Come on, a But if one person's on the free version and they want to play with the person who's upgraded, you can't. So that is something to take into consideration when uh -huh. someone's like, no, I added you, I drew you a picture. If you're not seeing, that's why. It took us a while to figure that out, a friend of mine and I. Leo, now you have to find an app cap out of thin air. I was going to play Draw Something for a little while. You All can't right. do that. Just, I, we're I just so close to the it. end of the show. We're so I, I really, close. We're so close and yet... So far away. So very, very far. I'm going to show a program that I used. Have I... Actually, before I do that, 
Did, did we ever show I Stop Motion? You did. I wasn't here. MG did it. Son yes. Sorry. Son of a I know. Gun. You were so mad about that. I love that program. And they updated need... it for Retina. And it, oh, it cool. uh, Yeah. And so I Stop Motion, if you, if you like that, it's a great program from Boink Software. They immediately added Retina capabilities. So now you can do an HD stop motion. That's so movie. cool. Whether it's claymation or a sunset or... Right. Or, I don't know, anything, really. You did that for This Week in Google one week. Yeah. Where everyone's it. doing throughout the show and stop motion. So if you've ever had to, uh, this would be a great thing to maybe tie into Pinterest. If you've ever had to, uh, uh, you you moved about a year ago. And mm -hmm. the next time you move, you might have a, a room, a space that you need to lay out furniture and stuff like Have I shown this before? No. This is called Living Room. I was looking for a program that would, would let me just, you know, put in the uh, dimensions of a room and then and then move around furniture and figure out what what's what's where you can this is actually a great little program it's just a few bucks it's called living room and you get a bunch of uh let's say i want to add a uh, a bookcase or a cabinet they've, they've got all these different items oh, that's a chair cool. a lamp so let's add it let's 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 add a table lamp you could put it in here you get to change the uh the size of it you get to move it around so what i did is i defined in in the dimensions i defined how big the room was uh, in this case, 19 by 23 feet. You can have a grid on it. You can have the object snap to the grid or not. Uh, you can see the room with the furniture or without the furniture. And then you can uh, lay it out and, uh, and, and figure out, well, do I have room for the sofa here if I put the bed there? This is, a, this is a studio apartment, so there's not a lot of room. So I really wanted to play with it to see if I could fit in various things. Uh, you can have multiple rooms. This doesn't do. There are there are programs on here that will do uh, 3D fly-throughs and all sorts of stuff. But when I read all the reviews, most of them crashed <laughs> a lot. Mm -hmm. So I decided better have a program that doesn't crash. Then you can uh, keep notes on the left here. If you go into portrait mode, uh, the notes uh, disappear, and you get a fuller uh, view of the uh, of the room so that you can see it. It will let you email it. It will let you print it out. It will let you make a PDF so you can take it to the furniture store. You know what your dimensions are. The truth is, just take your iPad to the furniture store, and if you're looking at some furniture, you can actually put that furniture in here and see if you can move it around and, 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 uh, and uh, get the feng shui just right. And then the Sims move in, and everybody's happy. This is called Living Room, and it's a nice little program. I think it was 5 Bucks. Yeah, $4.99. $4.99, there it is. Living room, all one And word. I didn't do a lot of color, uh, but you can apply textures, including wood and cement, and uh, and make it look a little bit more like the real deal. Yeah, if you were trying to figure out how to arrange your colors, if you've got... Yeah, I didn't, I'm not that sophisticated. Stuff. I was just trying to see if the furniture would fit. But I've, if you if you were a little more sophisticated, you could you could do that as yeah, well. Yeah, you could, you, could, you could be as simple or as detailed as you want. I've moved so many times, and this, would be this is the sort of thing that I always do on graphics. Paper, right, exactly. I, I have in the past because exactly. it's like you always you look at an empty room and I don't know what it is. It's psychological, but it always looks smaller. And then you get all your stuff in. And then that's it, right. You, you have more room than you thought you did. I was surprised. Look at all the stuff so I got in really here. I didn't does, think I was going to get everything in there. Yeah, yeah, because it's a small space, right? Yeah. And you think, oh man, oh gosh, where is it all going to go? Yep. But it works. Now there are desktop apps that are much better than this on laptops and stuff. I like the idea I can bring my iPad. I would like to see some of those desktop apps on the iPad uh, that would allow me, for instance, to open a catalog and say, I need something that size mm -hmm. uh, that would let me paste in from the, re let's say I wanted restoration hardware, I could paste those in and I'd get a better idea. I'd love a 3D fly through. If somebody has something better than this, I would love, love, love to see it. But this is, after looking at all the different programs, I downloaded a few of them. This is the one I ended up using because it was reliable, it was quick, it was easy. It's called Living Room and four ninety nine. It's very affordable. Yeah, Planet um, Next software. Yeah, so I hadn't heard of them before. That's awesome. Yeah, they do some nice stuff. It's really um, good. I'll tell you, uh, I'm downloading and lots of apps. Uh, I'm seeing some big improvements in some apps for the Retina display. But just in general, what I'm very pleased to see on this new iPad is that the existing apps all look better. Everything looks better. It's easier to read text. Uh, that camera is blowing me away. Truth is. I thought I was a little weird when I, I actually tweeted this. I'm, I'm happy about the retina display, but I'm hoping that Apple puts a better camera in. They answered my tweet. And um, I know everybody thought, you're crazy. Who cares about the camera? You will see. It's really nice. Oh, yeah. And, when I, and, and if you see somebody walking around uh, with it like this, you'll, um, know. you'll know that they, they too, uh, <laughs> like they, the camera. They believe in the they video be revolution. I believe in the video revolution. I just need like little flaps on the side. You know, when you're shooting video, you can see where you're going, so it's okay. Yeah. 
And then that would keep the sunlight out. Right. Yeah. Just, th- just throw a sweatshirt over your head. That's a great idea. Something like that. Yeah. All right. So we've come to the end of our show. This has been very exciting. I've the entire time I just keep looking over. Nothing's my new happened iPad. though, right? Yeah. No, because you I set it up. I need to restore it. My it's exciting. Well, I Go home. Restore it from this guy. From sink, this guy. sink, and do it by hardwire. It'll be much faster. I you will. Have to That's exactly wait what all I'm going night to, to do. Use your brand new iPad. And I'm going to start obsessing over all of these. All of these little palm marks. Oh boy, this new guy, and I got to get a new smart cover. And no, I don't have to get any of that because I've got I've got one of those cases just like you do. But we will be back at our regular time next week, 1:30 p.m. Pacific on Thursdays, 4:30 p.m. Eastern, of course, and some GMT time. 21:30 UTC. UTC that Leo knows by heart. And um, thanks to everybody for watching, and we'll see you next week on New iPad Today. Yay.